guys, I'm showing you what I got in my November Glim Box and then also doing a giveaway so that one of you guys can win a Glim Box as well. And with my giveaway, it is open internationally, so if you don't live in Canada or don't have a Canadian mailing address so you can't get a Glim Box yourself, now you can. Um, but I'll go to that at the end of the video, but for now I'll just show you what I got in mine and then I'll quickly open the one I'm giving away just so you guys can see if there are any differences um, so you know what to expect. But I'll show you what is in mine. Um, and this time I actually got it in a bright pink box. Last time I think it was just like a white box, so definitely as soon as I got this I knew exactly what it was. And then it is like that. And actually I started using my the box for my other one in my makeup drawer. Um, it's like the perfect size this way for my drawer and I can keep things in it. So. Yes. Um, so here you have your card that explains what everything is on the back and then just kind of invite friends. So it's tied up in a nice little bow. This is what it looks like. Lots of stuff in there. I will start off with this. This is the Annabelle Smudge Paint Eyeliner. And I did look at a video uh, of someone else's November Gloom Box, so I knew that I was getting this. I just didn't know what color. And um, on the little page it says that it is $10.95 and this is the full size product and I went into Shoppers Drug Mart and actually they sell it for like $12.95 so I mean you're getting a full product and this one is in purple and I haven't tried this before but I do like Annabelle Cosmetics I use their eyeshadows and their cream eyeshadows so you have your little pot like this and here is where the gel liner is and then you get your own little brush that comes out the cap it's kind of, it's a bit of a bigger brush, but, I don't know, let's see. Obviously I'm not going to swatch the one that I'm giving away. So, or then you can also do a thin line. Eh. There we go. This was about the thinnest line I could get. It seems very smooth. It's actually nice. It doesn't look too purple. I mean, you can't really see in this light, but when I first saw this packaging, I was like, I'm never going to wear a purple liner. Um, but it actually looks more like, like a brownie purple, so that's good. And yes, this is the full size. I can actually see myself using this. I would use a different brush because it didn't go on like too thinly, but I like this. This is the color Plumbed. And then the next item is RGB nail polish. And what color? Ooh, this is a very deep red. So this is also a full size product and it sells for $18, which is very expensive for nail polish. I would not buy a nail polish that much. Well, I did, but I would not buy a plain nail polish that much. My magnetic ones cost that much. Or my um, so this is just it, this red one here, with one coat, um, so you can kind of see, and I mean I'm sure with two coats it's going to look a lot deeper, so that is good. No, I like that color, I'd wear that, I'm very happy with that. Then we have Orlane B21 Oligo Vitamin Cream. Oh, it's a light smoothing cream for sensitive, fragile, and allergic skin types. So this is the packaging that's very reflective, so there's no point in even showing you. And it's just a little sample that looks like this. This is just a tiny little sample. How big is the sample? 3.5 milliliters. If you get the full 50 milliliters, that's 80 bucks. Um, basically, it brightens up your morning with this cream. It's a hypoallergenic day cream infused with rich vitamins and minerals. So basically it's just a moisturizer. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd try this. I don't usually moisturize my face too much. Um, I have really oily skin. I don't find I need it. I do use a tinted moisturizer in the morning though. That's mixed in with my foundation. So I guess I kind of have that and it has a sunscreen in it. Um, maybe I'll try that. We have a Lise Watier Flash Lift Radiance Vial, and this is one little vial, and usually seven vials sell for 27 bucks. So what is this? It is a new vitalizing serum that can be applied any time of the day. What does it do? Oh, it erases the sign of fatigue and smooths the appearance of wrinkles. It says it can be used for like an instant glow. 
so I can't open it. Oh, I was going to sample it for you, but I think it is one of those vials that, yeah, once you open, you can't close it. But if you kind of see, it's just like some sort of, I don't know, oil or, yeah, serum in it. I'd, I'd definitely give this a try to see what it is, because it says it can give you like a radiant glow. I don't think I'd buy it. Like, I don't think it's a product that I am missing in my beauty regime that I need, but I think it'd be cool to try. We have two samples of Rawa shampoo and conditioner. And what is the thing about this? It is apparently Gwyneth Paltrow uses it. It's, it contains the Rawa nut oil found in the Amazon rainforest. That's cool. I guess it's maybe the new kind of twist on the Moroccan oil since that was like a big fad and I like it. I have Moroccan oil um, conditioner. So prevents frizz, adds bounce, body and shine. That's cool. And it's nice in this thing they say how to pronounce it because I'd probably say it like Rahua or something like that. But yes. Oh, it says right here. Rawa. So yes. I, I don't know what it smells like so I can't. Well, maybe I'll open a little bit to tell you guys. This is what it kind of looks like, the shampoo one. I smell my like mint lip balm, my lip gloss. Um, it doesn't smell like too much, it doesn't smell bad, it doesn't smell good. I think it smells organic -y. you know, that kind of, well the things that Aveda smells like, but not as strong. Good. And then there is, uh, so that's it for products, then there's a little coupon, um, it's for brown shoes, and it is to get $10 off. Now again, I looked um, when someone else showed this in their Glimbuck video, and I think the cheapest thing at brown shoes is like 15 bucks, or maybe I'm wrong. I didn't like look too much. I was just like, $10 off? Well, that sucks if like everything is like 50 to to $100, you know? $10 is nothing. They're still trying to get you to buy. Um, yeah, I'll take a look at brown shoes. I probably won't use it because $10 off, it's not too much if you don't need anything. If I was already shopping there, then yeah. Um, but, yeah, if you guys shop at brown shoes and, like, already and would like to have this coupon, then just let me know and I'll just send it out to you. Um, but I personally don't think I'm going to use it. And then the last thing is little candies. Sweet. <laughs> Um, and I actually started using these little jars to put things in. Um, I put little paper clips at work. So that's cute. And it looks cute. Maybe I'll use this one instead because it's so sweet. The other one says trick or sweet. But yeah. Yum, yum, yum. So that is everything that I got in my November Glim box. I would have to say not as good as the October one. Um, but. It's still pretty good. Um, if this was my first one, I still think I would subscribe. Not so much for the lotions, but for the nail polish and the Annabelle eyeliner. I think that makes it worth it for me, just because I'm not that big on the lotions. But I mean, they have to do that. And you got two full-side products today, um, so that's really good. Okay, so now this is going to be the giveaway one. And I'll quickly just open it. I'll wrap it up nicely again. So you get a blue smudge pot. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to be this blue, so don't worry. Um, and everything else looks the same. And for your nail polish, let's see if I can open this nicely. It is... It's like this taupey color, like a light brown. Which actually is really nice for foam. So that's good. Okay, so let me put this back before I like damage it. And yeah, everything else is the same. Now before I get into the giveaway, I basically just wanted to say how and why I have two boxes. And I'll be doing this again for December because I'm also getting two December boxes. Um, I signed up for one month, what I thought was one month, when like Groupon or that kind of thing had a deal. It was $5 instead of the $10. Um, and so I got my October box and I really liked it so then I bought um, the year subscription because I was like no I, I do like this and I'd rather pay kind of a lump sum at once than have to do it like monthly or then kind of forget that it's being charged on my credit card um, so I got the one or the one year subscription and then um, kind of mid-November I got sent my shipping code as they always do saying or like your tracking number and then I got sent a second tracking number and I was like 
what? And then I looked on my account, uh, my bank account credit card statement, and then also my Glim account, and apparently they renewed the monthly one that I got, so I got the October one, and they automatically renew it, so I got the November one, and then they also then charged me for my, you know, my yearly subscription. So that's how I got two, and I've talked to a lot of other people who have seen them post on their Facebook that they just weren't aware that once they bought the one month it was going to like continue so a lot of people ended up with that second box um, when they only wanted the one probably they also got it from like that Groupon deal um, so just to keep in mind I mean I should have realized it um, because most places they do if it's a subscription thing they unless you cancel it you'll continue on and that's you know also how they kind of can suck you in a bit um, but what I'm upset about is because I bought the year subscription that my monthly subscription should have cancelled, why would I want two boxes? Um, so yeah, now I have cancelled it, but they charge you for like the future months a long time ago, so um, on November 2nd or 3rd I got charged for the December box, and I guess way in October I got charged for the other the November box. And very confusing, but basically by the time I noticed I was already charged for the November and the December box. So that's why I'm gonna get another one next year or next month. And I did, yes, I did cancel now, so after December I won't be getting two boxes every time. Um but that's the way it goes. Okay, so now for the rules, it is open internationally, so like I had said, um so you can be for uh, living wherever. It's nice because sometimes Glen Box does sponsor like a giveaway for beauty gurus, but they send it out themselves, Glim, so they only make it open to Canada. So since this is my own, I'm covering postage, I paid for these boxes. Um I'm gonna open it internationally, so if you guys don't live in Canada or you know, wherever you live in the world, you can enter. Um, it is going to be open for one week, roughly. I'm going to close it on November 30th at, I don't know, I'll write the time below. Um, you have to either be 18 or over or then have your parents' permission so you can give your address and I can send it to you. And you have to be a subscriber of mine, um, so if you aren't a subscriber already, then click the subscription box above and subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of other videos as well, lots of beauty related videos. You can enter once per person, um, so to enter, write what you are thankful for. It is American Thanksgiving this week, and even if you aren't, don't live in the U.S., um, you're always thankful for something. I'm thankful for a lot of things. So just write what you're thankful for, and I will do a video in about a week saying who the winner is. Good luck, and thanks for watching. Bye.